Welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of On The Yard. As always, I'm your host Perry White. Before we start the show today, I would like to thank everyone for your contributions to our GoFundMe account. We started the account to raise money for awareness of this show and we want to thank everyone for your help. This past week, the Southern University Office of Recruitment hosted the Lost Foot Fly Tour, which brought over 400 plus high school students to the campus of Southern University. Those students were able to meet faculty, staff, as well as administrators, and also see what student life here at Southern University was all about. Let's check it out. Greetings, Southern University. My name is Michelle Anderson, an admissions recruiter here at Southern University. Today, we hosted the Lost Foot Fly Tour, which brought 400 students to our university. In the fall, we're anticipating SU-19 to be the largest class that we have seen in history. We're really trying to get these students engaged, apply to the university, and exceed our mark of 5,000 students on campus. Also, we're here to get them to see themselves and the Jaguar Nation. Today on the yard, we hosted Blue and Gold Day for 500 students to come into the university and to learn more information and financial aid information about our Southern University. It was filled with numerous events, the band, the Golden Blues Dance Team, the Beta Side Chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha, then the Yard Show. It was an amazing event. It was so, so fun. The students enjoyed it. The administration of the different schools enjoyed it. And Southern University is on the rise. Be on the watch out for us fall 2015 as we intake the freshman 2015 class. It's great to welcome those students to the Southern University campus and as well as the opportunity to be able to have them think about making this their home for the next four years. And if you do choose to have Southern University as your home, welcome. The Beta Psi chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated recently celebrated their week here on campus. Let's check it out as they celebrated not only the heritage and legacy that they have, but as well as sharing it with the student body. Hello, I'm Shanice Sand, the 84th and Centennial Miss Southern University. This week is AKA Week on the Yard. Beta Psi has a yard thriving, of course. And um, we're celebrating 75 years of greatness, service, and sisterhood. Different programs this week. We started out the week uh, with the church service. Monday we had um, Harlem Nights, like a casino vibe, lounge type thing. Uh, yesterday we had a relationship forum entitled Romeo and Juliet, where we reached out to the young guys and young girls and gave them some insight on how to have a healthy relationship. And today we had a yard show, basically a showcase to show the high school students that are here that are undecided where they're going to go to school, and maybe we were trying to get them to grab them to come to Southern University, of course. And then tonight we're going to have. Walker. I'm a member of the Major Side Chapter of Alpha, Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, and this week is AKA Week. Of course, the yard is just popping. There's so much going on, so much positivity, so much to give back to Southern University. On Monday night, we had a casino and lounge night. Tuesday, we had a relationship forum, and tonight, Wednesday, we had a yard show and a pageant. It's great to see that those members of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated put on an exciting week for the students to be able to come out and see the great things that they were accomplishing. The greatest things about Southern University is the ability to allow students to be able to live on campus. And for their appreciation of living here on campus, Southern University Res Life Department held a Resident Life Appreciation Week to show their appreciation for the students. Let's check it out. Greetings, my name is Julius McCray. I am a graduate assistant in the Department of Residence Life and Housing. We recently just celebrated our fourth annual Residence Appreciation Week. Um, it's a week of a long event that we give back to our residents. It is all free of charge. It's just something we want to give back to them. Um, Sunday night, we celebrated our Gospel Night on the Bluff. It was our fourth annual one. Um, Monday, we had a carnival for all of our students. We include miniature rides. We had snacks and foods for them. Um, Tuesday night, we had our Miss Residential Life pageant where we crowned our first Miss Residential Life. And we ended all with our big phone party that we have every year. It was great for the university to be able to show their appreciation for the students that live here on campus and as well as for the student body to be able to come out and enjoy themselves with the staff and faculty. Last week, Southern University had the honor of being able to welcome United States Senator David Vitter. As you know, David Vitter is up for election for governor here in the state of Louisiana. Let's take a look as the members of Southern University's faculty as well as students addressed him with some questions and concerns. Uh, U.S. Senator David Vitter is uh is representing the state of Louisiana in Washington, D.C. He's the most influential and powerful voice that we have in D.C. It is an honor to have him to uh, come to Southern University and to talk to our students, our faculty, our staff, and our campus leaders. Surely, uh, 
David Vitter is someone to be reckoned with in that he is a candidate for governor of the state of Louisiana. We are hopeful that his perspective on higher education and how to save it will all enlighten and make us joyful about his presentation today. I think it's great that both Republican and Democratic candidates for governor are interested in Southern University. Today we had Senator Vitter here. Senator Vitter committed today that he would protect and support Southern and there would be nothing done to uh, shriek our university. That's critical. I think that we want to get a commitment from these gentlemen early on that they're going to protect our university. So we got Senator Vitter on record today saying that he supports and will protect this university. As we get the other candidates to come in over the next several months, I think it will be critical that we get that same commitment from them while they're running for office as opposed to once they get in office so that we can hold them accountable. And I'm glad that Senator Vitter is prepared to be accountable and I suspect that the others will too. We will certainly encourage them all to come see the wonderful things that we have to offer here at Southern University and I think we'll be a better university and state as a result of it. Well, I've been looking forward to the visit uh, to Southern today. A great chance to come back. I was here not too long ago meeting mostly with the leadership and the administration. Today I'll have a broader cross-section of folks to visit with, including a lot of students. So I've been really looking forward to the visit and plan on coming back many times. So that's the biggest reform we need on the spending side. On the tax side, the biggest reform we need is to have a thorough analysis of all of our state tax credits and exemptions and deductions, to, to look at each one, to decide in a sober way, to apply some sort of cost-benefit analysis in a careful way, and decide if this makes sense for the taxpayer in the state, or if it doesn't. Some of those provisions do make sense. Some of those bring jobs, bring business into the state that are far more economic activity and yield far more revenue than we forego. Others do not make sense. Others are loopholes or giveaways or are spending items by another name and we need to get rid of them. And in that way, uh, we can broaden the tax base we may even be able to have the opportunity to lower some rates, particularly in areas that would spur job creation, economic investment, and growth to the economy, which means additional state revenue. So that's the biggest thing we need to do on the tax side. That fundamentally will help right the ship and stabilize higher ed. Now look, as we do that, uh, we need to reform elements of higher ed and we need to streamline many things within the system as well those two things need to go hand in hand it's a it's a simple and i think a reasonable deal we're going to stabilize the budget we're going to provide that security we're going to support higher ed and every step of the way as we do we need to make sure we organize higher ed in an efficient and effective way and that doesn't mean closing down this campus, and it probably doesn't mean closing down any campus, but it does mean streamlining. It does mean creating more efficiencies. I'll give you a, an easy example. In Greater Shreveport, there are four different public nursing programs. Now, nurses are in short supply. We need a lot more nurses. We need every one of those nursing slots. What we don't need is four administrations running the show in the same metropolitan area. And that sort of example is littered around every campus and around every state. So we need to make a determined effort as we stabilize the budget to create centers of excellence, to focus on uh, strengths on each campus, to build those up and to create greater efficiencies. And that includes by giving higher ed management, including the Southern system, more flexibility, more autonomy. Don't put so many strings attached. Don't require every little decision has to be approved by the legislature or the governor or go through this enormously complicated process. We need to empower 
higher ed leaders and give them more flexibility and autonomy. It was great for Southern University to be able to welcome in United States Senator David Vitter and also for members of the Southern University family to be able to raise questions and awareness for some of the issues that are directly affecting this university. I want to thank you guys for tuning in for another exciting episode of On The Yard. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Instagram at On The Yard SU, and recently we just submitted and started a Facebook page, On The Yard SU. Make sure to type that into your search engine, like and share the page as well. Till next week, peace. Mr. Hayes.